Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy S2, all the versions. That's Sprint, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Okay, now before you begin, this shouldn't erase any content on your device, um, but with that being said, please make sure that you have a backup of all your pictures, your contacts, anything else that you don't want to lose, just in case. Also, this procedure will not only root your Samsung Galaxy S2, but it will also flash a custom recovery image onto it um, that you can use to load ROMs, do backups, and a bunch of other different things as well. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to download a program called Samsung Keys. Keys. Uh, we're gonna download that and install it to our computer. So add the link there. Wait for that to download. Once it downloads, we're going to install it. and follow the prompts to install it. Okay, and then once you install keys, you're going to turn off your phone. Okay, and then once the phone is off, you're going to hold down the volume up and down buttons at the same time and plug in the device via USB. So keep holding those until you get this warning thing here and press volume up to continue. And now it's in download mode. Okay, and after you plug it in, it should automatically start to install a bunch of drivers. Um, once it's completely done installing the drivers, just make sure that you close keys completely. Um, we need it to be on the computer just to install the drivers, basically. But now we want it completely closed out uh, since the drivers are already installed. Um, and if it is running and we continue with the next steps, it could actually cause some issues. So just make sure Keys is completely closed out. And then we go to the next step, which is to download Odin, uh, which is a flashing tool. We'll click on that and wait for Odin to download. Okay, once Odin is downloaded, uh, you'll see it's a .zip file, so we're going to extract that. And then we can actually open Odin. Uh, we're going to right click it and run as administrator. Yes. Wait for that to open. We're going to download the recovery image for our specific device. So if you have a T-Mobile one, choose this. Sprint, choose this. ATT, choose this. Only choose one of them. Um, I'm using a T-Mobile phone, so we'll click on this one. And wait for that to download. And then. Now go to Odin, click on PDA, select the .tar file that we just downloaded, and then hit start. Once everything is done, you should see a big pass up here at the top. Um, and in this little thing, it should say succeed one, failed zero. Uh, if that happens, it means it was successful, and we can go to the next step. Okay, after it flashes that, the phone will automatically reboot, um, and it should still be plugged in. So while it is, we're going to hold down the notification menu, tap on USB, and say connect USB storage. This way we can transfer files to the device. Once the device is connected, uh, and the storage is mounted. We're going to download the superuser.zip file uh, by clicking on this link here and saving that to our computer. Then we're going to open our uh, downloads folder wherever we saved the su uh, superuser.zip file. And we're also going to open up our device's SD card 
and we're going to simply copy that SU signed file, leave it as a .zip, do not unzip it, just copy it over to the root of your SD card. Uh, in other words, not inside any of these folders, it'll just be a removable disk and then the file itself. Once we've done that, we can close all this out. And we can un disconnect our storage and unplug our device. Then we're going to turn it off. And once it's off, we're going to, again, hold down the volume up and down buttons at the same time and tap the power button and hold it until the phone vibrates. Then let go of the power, but continue to hold the volume up and down. Keep holding them until you get this recovery screen. Okay, and then you're gonna use the volume buttons to navigate and the power button to select. And we're gonna go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. And then we're gonna select that su sign.zip file. Hit yes. And wait for that to install. Once it's installed and it says install from SD card complete, I wanna click go back and then click Reboot System Now. Once the phone reboots, uh, you should be able to go into your applications drawer and see the super user icon. If you wanna double check that you have uh, root, you can go to the market and search for Root Checker. And you'll see Root Checker Basic, it's free. Click on that, install it, and open it. And if you click on verify root access, it should say, congratulations, you have root access. Um, and there you go. So after this, now you can use uh, root required uh, applications like Wi-Fi tethering, that kind of stuff, backup, titanium backup, for example. Or you can also take the next step, which would be to flash some custom ROM, some custom operating systems onto your device. So if you wanna do that, head to the bottom of this procedure on our site uh, for a link on the next video on how to do that. Enjoy.